ഓം ശ്രീ ഗണേശായ നമഹ ഓം ശ്രീ ഗുരുഭ്യോ നമഹ വെരി ഓഫൻ പീപ്പിൾ വെൻ ദേ കോൾ മീ ഫോർ ദർ ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ടീസ് ദേ കോൾ ആൻഡ് സേ ദ ആർ ഓൾറെഡി ഇൻ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഡെറ്റ്സ് ദേ ആർ ഓൾറെഡി ഇൻ ടു ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ കമ്മിറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദേ ആർ ലുക്കിംഗ് ഫോർ എ പൂജ സൊല്യൂഷൻ വിച്ച് ദേ ക്യാൻ ഡൂ സംതിങ് ഓൺ ദർ ഓൺ അറ്റ് ഹോം സോ ദാറ്റ് യു നോ ദ ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് എ ബേർഡൺ ടു ഡൂ ദ റെമഡി അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ ഗോൺ ടു സോൾവ് ദർ പ്രോബ്ലം while those kind of remedies are very slow and they take time in fact previously i've done a video on runahartra ganapati mantra or visiting ganesha temple and how you can absolve your uh, runabada or the debts uh, just in continuation with that some things to improvise and you know you can do so that it really helps you absolve your financial crisis is that you could use anything to do with lakshmi or lotus for example two things that you could do one is that offering um, a diya or a lamp or an aarti to ishwara lord shiva with the lotus stem wick or batti see uh, this is how it looks i will give i'll show you through a close up okay these are all made of lotus stem and anything to do with lotus is nothing but Uh, something to do with goddess lakshmi something that is very dear to her so when you light this it's not easy to light it you see it's like uh, it's made very differently it's very delicate so on this you'll have to keep a camphor and then light every mondays to lord shiva this is very very auspicious so it's actually equivalent to performing the ashwamedha yaga itself you uh, you get those kind of um, punya you collect that kind of grace and the next thing is that you could every monday offer a handful of amla amla okay gooseberries just ha- offer a handful of amlas that's available everywhere in every part of india it's available so you can just take that and offer it on the shivaling like you can go to a shiva temple and then tell them on a monday that you know offer it on the shivling or especially in north india if you have the uh, opportunity to do it yourself you can go and uh, put it on the shivling and do pranam and come back or in uh, south india especially we don't we're not allowed to touch the shivling other than the main priest so when that is the case then what you could probably do is just give it to the purohit or uh, pujari and then request him to offer it to shivling because that is considered as lakshmi again so she is also lakshmi nallikai we say in kannada and avla in hindi goes very in english so you know that is considered as goddess lakshmi herself so you remember the uh, great saint shankaracharya of you know when a lady gave gooseberries to him he made it, he converted that to gold so it's kanakadhara stotra when he started reciting it became gold so it's like that so basically i'm not saying that uh, this is going to be gold but definitely with the intention of offering whatever we have the least that we can offer to lord shiva when we do that automatically he accepts it gracefully and he will always bless actually there is a story for this that i would like to narrate so what happened was once uh, lord shiva and parvati were taking a stroll in a forest and then they see a one very um old man he's struggling uh, for even one square meal a day he doesn't have money and he's performed lot of bad karmas so it so happens that parvati is the mother goddess and uh, the mother in her makes her feel like you know i can't see this child suffer so she tells shiva come on why don't you help uh, this person out and bless with prosperity so that's when shiva says uh, i want to as much as i want to help this man he has not performed any good deed in the past so that's what lord shiva says that he has not performed any good deed in the past no punya karya at all so there is no way i can help him so even if i have to call god as lakshmi there should be some merit some good deed that he should have done and i don't see him doing anything like that so uh, i'm sorry i cannot help so then she says but you give some solution to him so he says okay fine uh, let me think about it and then he will go in the vesh or uh, in the disguise of another man a wise man and he'll say and like see this is what you're suffering right why don't you go and offer some uh, gooseberries to lord shiva he says okay fine and then he goes in the forest also he sees that you know there is plenty of gooseberry but there is always a barter expected so you know people who are selling it they want something in return and he has nothing to give so he will wonder oh, okay now what do i do uh, i'm so uh, unfortunate that you know my misfortune is taking me left right and center i'm moving around i'm doing things but 
in nowhere i'm seeing light so then again parvati will pester and say no this is not the way it is you have to call goddess lakshmi to bless so then goddess lakshmi also says there is no way i can come and bless him because he is not on one good merit so that is why it's very important to do good deeds help people not just do pujas and pariharas and all that it's also equally important to help others and do some good merit so that you get timely help so even then there is absolutely nothing that he can do so at that time uh, parvati will kind of pester him and say pester lord shiva and say if you don't then i'm not moving from this place you have to help him so then ishwara will go again as a wise man in that disguise and he will tell him see i understand that you're not able to get anything go and pick up whatever is dried and fallen down from the tree nobody is going to get ask you for something in return so there is no barter required but you offer that so then the man will say how will shiva accept a dried gooseberry so then shiva will say he will accept anything you give with love and shraddha so you go and do it that is when he will go and pick up all those dried gooseberries and offer it on the shivaling and that very next minute lakshmi goddess lakshmi will be there and she will she will appear and say i am now ready to help you that's when parvati will say all these days i mean when i have been constantly pestering shiva call lakshmi call lakshmi you have not turned up why is it that you turned up the moment he offered because she says that you know one good merit is good enough for me to come and all these years all the past lifetimes he has done nothing good but the moment shiva told him to offer even a dried gooseberry i i had to come there because gooseberry is again indicative of me the very fact that the he is ready to offer something even if it's a dried flower or a fruit or whatever it is the moment that good act is performed with a good intention with a pure heart automatically the next minute i am there to bless and then the whole fortune of that man changes after that once god as herself is there so like this we all need a turning point we don't know what we have done in the past we don't know what we plan to do in the future you know people often say when i get money i'm going to do this when i get loads of money i'm going to do that but it it's never like that you know when you get money most people forget and very few people do what they are supposed to do i can still count and i know a few people who are very good and who still do a lot of good things so who have kept up their vow uh, you know i after i get a job i'm going to help people and and he's helped immensely he's helped like at least uh, you know thousands of families i have personally known i know one very genuinely good guy uh, who's really very close to me now he started off as the client but uh, he's such a dear person that yeah he's helped people immensely he doesn't think twice now he doesn't even think of doing pujas and all for himself all that he does is help people and he is finding peace in that and he is growing in that so uh, his name is swati prasad and he is uh, he is a brilliant guy and uh, very kind hearted very very kind hearted so that is the whole point so you know you do one good act and the whole thing will change god will empower you to such an extent that you can help many many more it's very important to have a kind heart and also have pure intentions of serving so with pure intentions if you all have financial difficulties offer the avla gooseberries on lord shiva every monday light this lamp okay the lotus stem wick it's available everywhere you can uh, check with your puja store nearest puja store i'm sure it will be available if you can't find it you can reach out through me i can also help you i'm sure even in online some uh, websites it may be available so you light that every monday okay um, to lord shiva definitely the daridrita will go and you will invoke prosperity i hope this video is useful for all of you to get rid of your financial burden and commitments and uh, the poverty i won't say poverty because uh, i'm sure you know nowadays it's not that bad that you know you are in the state of your poverty stricken i wouldn't say that you know people who watch these kind of videos they'll have some basic facilities with them at least they won't be in poverty but whatever difficulty financial difficulties you have whatever burdens you have may all that be absolved may you be happy thank you so much namaste mm -hmm.